Hey guys, good morning. It is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. I got another new shirt. I went to Bell's the other day. They had these shirts for $10, man. Long sleeve with the hood and all that stuff, which is what I like. So let's celebrate uh, our savings by going out and catching some fish today. Wouldn't that just be a great celebration? I think it would. Uh, I'm in the Savannah area, Richmond Hill, Georgia. And uh, if you're not from here, it's coastal Georgia. Let's see if we can catch some kind of swimming creature. Ho hopefully a fish. And of course, my first fish of the day. I said, I shouldn't have said, let's catch something that swims. Because it's a shark. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Oh, I take that back. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it's a redfish and I was like, no, no way. But sure enough, man. Big one. I'm gonna grab, grab my net. Well, that shows what an expert I am. But in all fairness, I did just lose my line to a shark. Fighting pretty good. Good fish will pull your string now. Pretty redfish right there, guys. Real pretty. Let's see how long he is. 24 guys right there. Let's turn them loose. Yeah, the water was way down. And I noticed there was a big mound of shells way off this bank. There's a big flat right here. And there were some shells just way out here, like out here where I am. And so I thought, well, I'm going to you know, I'm gonna fish those oyster shells because it's kind of a weird situation. I could see them. And uh, I kept hearing splashing back over this way, away from the shells. I threw over there and a the shark got me. And then I threw over there and that redfish like tried to knock everything out of the water, which is kind of like how a shark does. So I thought it was a shark. And because I was paying attention to what was going on around me, I, I caught that redfish. Y'all need to pay attention. I'll just tell you right now. That's a big trout. Big trout. I was getting ready to leave this spot. I mean, that, that was like my last cast. And I was leaving. But I'm not leaving now. Not after that. Not after that guy. No. I think I'll, I think I'll throw a couple more times. At least a couple more times. That's a pretty trout. That ain't like the last trout. That's for sure. But he's a trout. All right, I think I might know where these guys are. Maybe not promising you guys anything, but let's turn the camera around and get ready. Maybe there's some more shells back here or something. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, man. What's wrong with me, guys? My hook is gone and that was a shark. I'm not going to be... Okay. My hook is not gone. I don't think that was a shark. That's what I think. Not what I know. Horse crap. <laughs> okay. Now that was another one that felt like a good one. That's two that I think I've lost that were, I, I'm pretty sure were good trout. Two times that I have thrown a nice big shrimp, I've caught a nice trout. But I only have so many nice good sized shrimp. I can only fish with the shrimp I got. Man, this spot's turning out pretty good. I'm glad I paid attention to that. Glad I paid attention to what was going on around me. See, this water's running faster now. And my little float, uh, this light float is starting to turn sideways. All right, there's a big shrimp. That's gigantic. Uh, I may have to put on a heavier float and wait because the current's going a lot faster now. I don't know what I got here. I have no idea. A bigger jack. <laughs> oh, Lord. I knew it had to be at least halfway decent size to hit a shrimp that big and eat it. There you go. That jack. Well, that was a trout. I looked right at him and he just said, he said, I don't think so, not today. So he pushed the release button, set himself free. Yeah, all of these shrimp have a release button. It's a little black spot right there. You can kind of see it. That's the release button. The fish decides he don't want to play releases itself
think that's the same one. Take it easy. Take it easy. There you go. Finally got him settled down. He must have not been able to reach the release button. Because the way he's acting, I think he would have hit it for sure if he could have got his fins on it. He would have definitely hit the release button. Trout, a little trout, he was going all over the place. I'm beginning to think that uh, they don't want to get caught. I really am. I'm starting to think that uh, these fish are just it's like they're trying to get away. I mean, I think I'm a pretty nice guy. Turning them loose. I'm not treating them bad. Showing them off to the camera. They get a free shrimp. Oh man, why did I do that? Well, cause that's what I do. That was a good trout, very good. I just slung him off. Went to sling him into the boat and be cool. But I mean, I'm not keeping fish to eat today, so it's not that big a deal. <laughs> but I would like for you guys to have got a little better view of it. This time, I feel like it's going to be a trout. Except it's a jack. Or a trout. Could be anything. Oh, it's a little trout. Look at that guy. Skinny, too. He's got on his skinny jeans today. Little trout skinny jeans. <laughs> that little guy. I need to put on my skinny jeans. Quick. Of course, skinny jeans don't really help with your belly, do they? I guess not. Okay. Let's see if we get another one here. Red, little red. Okay. Hadn't caught a redfish in a while today. Since that 24 inch one. This one's about 12 inches shy of that. It's pretty close though. It's in the neighborhood of 24 inches. I switched spots. My other spot kind of died on me. Once the current got going real, real good. And I know this is a good incoming current spot and I don't want to fish a whole lot longer so I thought I'd stop here on the way back home
good one. There you go. Good looking little fella. Adios. guys now a lot of fun you guys are a lot of fun all right all right all right hey 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 yes, sir that's another fish Another day, another shrimp, another trout. Turn loose. There you go. He's trying to, he's trying to beat me up, man. That guy was kind of a bully, really. All right, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna catch another fish. If I'm not gonna catch another fish, but I know one thing. I'm gonna run this video. Until the camera dies so i'm gonna take this time to do my exit uh i guess the lesson today was if you see something you go buy something that's completely different than everything else but it, and it looks like a great spot stop and check it out because that's what i did when i saw all that bait and i saw that shell mound sitting out there by completely by itself at the end of a flat I stopped and I caught those fish and I fished about I don't know 15 20 minutes before I caught that first fish because I knew the tide was about to change so I made sure I fished it you know I gave it a chance if I would just threw a couple of times and not caught a fish and took off I wouldn't even you know so give spots a chance when you get on them because it turned out to be a pretty decent spot today has turned out to be a pretty decent day so thanks for watching nichols retirement empire